Families of the Rob Elementary victims are hoping to block the release of a documentary again. Rob Ed 77 Minutes of Police Incompetence by Charlie Min was re-edited and will be released Tuesday at a theater in Uvalde for the survivors of the shooting. Last month, the families of victims spoke out against the release of the film because they say the director misled them and was capitalizing on their tragedy. The U.S. Supreme Court is set to hear oral arguments over a case involving student loans. President Biden's ambitious student loan forgiveness plan is facing two legal challenges. Critics say the plan is an illegal abuse of power and is unfair to some borrowers. It would cancel up to $10,000 in student loans for people earning less than $125,000 a year. Five people are dead after a medical transport plane crashed in Nevada in a town southeast of Reno on Friday night. The Associated Press reports the plane apparently broke apart before hitting the ground. The five people killed, including the patient, a family member, the pilot, a flight nurse, and a flight paramedic. The federal government is moving ahead with plans to dispose of hazardous waste from that train derailment in East Palestine, Ohio. The Norfolk Southern train derailed over three weeks ago. The EPA says a shipment of contaminated liquid and solid waste will now head to two EPA facilities in Ohio today. Right now, over 100,000 gallons of liquid waste and five truckloads of soil still need to be removed. At least 62 migrants are dead after their wooden boat broke apart on Sunday after hitting rocks near the eastern coast of Italy. Around 80 people were rescued. Their survivors are from Iran, Pakistan, and Afghanistan. Right now, it's not clear where the ship launched from. U.S. Department of Energy says the COVID-19 pandemic most likely came from a lab leak in China. A senior U.S. intelligence official told The Wall Street Journal new information caused the department to update their assessment. The intelligence community has repeatedly said a lack of cooperation from Beijing made it difficult to get to the bottom of where COVID came from. The threat of drug-resistant bacteria is on the rise in the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, reporting there are limited treatments available. CDC officials say the bacteria is called Shigella, and it typically affects young children. Infections can cause a fever and serious stomach problems. Powerful storms rolled across the Midwest overnight, bringing destructive winds from the Texas Panhandle to Kansas. The same system brought rain, wind, and snow to the West Coast, stranding drivers and closing down sections of major highways. As the storm moves east, forecasters are calling for more ice and snow in Michigan, where thousands of customers were still without power five days after a different storm blanketed parts of the state with ice. And finally, after losing in the final seconds of week one, the San Antonio Brahmas have won their first XFL game. They beat the Orlando Guardians on the road in Florida 30 to 12. The Brahmas hit the road next Sunday to take on the Houston Roughnecks. And that's today's Nine at Nine. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.